what's going on everybody this is the bronco knight back with another video review and today i'm more than pleased to bring you one of my personal favorites from the entire transformers franchise i'm introducing to you transformers bumblebee studio series voyager class optimus prime as he appeared from the bumblebee movie that we got a few years ago now I'm not sure why he became one of my personal favorites. It just who I grew up with, I guess. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It surprisingly he did not have a lot of screen time, but then again, it was focused on Bumblebee himself and not Optimus. Which you know, just seeing him in an old throwback look to the G1 for Generation One. For those who are not familiar with it, I'm. Very blown away by this. You, As you can see here, we have the obligatory product shot in his vehicle and robot. He converts in 35 steps, which I'm very looking forward to bringing you to this channel today. And as you can see right down here, you have a little backdrop that shows him on a bridge, obviously. But we'll get to that here in the review. And you have a nice background image of the big man himself. And he is a Voyager class. And he is number 38 in the series. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how awesome he really is. Alrighty, so we have Optimus Prime out of his packaging. And I gotta say, in my opinion, for a toy form, I think this is the best representation of Optimus Prime we've ever seen. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna criticize me for that, but that's just my opinion. I actually like this mold a lot better than what the other one was with the uh, Michael Bay Optimus Prime. Bringing the figure up close, we'll get to him in a second. But here is the backdrop for which he comes with. Now, as you can see, it's a bridge, obviously. <laughs> it's the uh, Golden Gate Bridge that we've seen in the near the fun near some of the last few minutes of the movie where Bumblebee and Optimus join up as they were crossing this bridge. Now, does that play a significant role? Probably not, but then again, you may never know. But, you know, it is what it is. So, moving on to the figure itself, let's bring him back here. Let me bring my camera down. And, you know, he is very cool looking. Let me turn the light up just a little bit. Perfect. And look at that beautiful sculpt. Optimus Prime in all his glory. Got a nice little ion blaster right here, which is made in a dart in a black plastic. But, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That looks really nice. Got some nice little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, detailing. <laughs> I don't, can't even say anything. Got nice little details on the inner thighs, as well as over here. I'm not sure if you can barely see that. Um, the back. Now, in all honesty, this is a very neat backpack. Like, it compresses very nicely. And it's almost like they, it can, kind of came like out of the uh, movie itself. Now, let's, for the gun, well, I want to come out, there we go. There's two pegs right here on each side. If you want to store it in the back of Prime, you can put in one of these two. Holding the hit like so. Now, in my, now a lot of people are going to display him with the gun. However, with the upcoming Rise of the Beast, oops, dropped it. we are going to be introduced to Prime with the Energon Blades. Now, in Bumblebee, he did not come with them. He just came with the Ion Blaster. So, these do not come with any of the Primes. However, I got a 
upgrade kit from eBay, which I will post a link down in the description so that way you can see. It consists of two swords, a couple of ion blasters, a, a shield, and a, a battle axe. Now the battle axe, be very careful because it's not very, it's flimsy at best, but I'll post a link down in the description. Uh, let's get that pushed back in there. There we go. So in the trailer, we were we see Optimus Prime with the Energon blades. Now, I'm not exactly sure if the new Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime is going to come with them. So I got this upgrade kit specifically for that. And we're just going to post it right underneath here. See, there's this little peg right here that's going to connect. It's right underneath there. Can take a little bit doing. Or we can do it like that, but. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's not very movie accurate. How did I? Put that right there. Okay, there we go. So, well, that obviously fell off. Now, right here, the way it comes out, it's movie accurate. Just because, as you can see, like in the uh, trailer, it's going to be the two Energon blades. I'm going to do it on this one just so that way you can see. Now, these can be used with any of the primes from the Studio Series. There we go. So as you can see, like right here, it kind of almost makes it look like it's popping out of his hand. So you can get, you can get like really good dynamic poses with this. So now let's put this back on here. Oh, that's why. And then put that right back. There, there we go. So, if you want to display him like that, you can. And as you can see, that looks very, very cool. So, there you go. And so for articulation, his arm can do a somewhat 360. I'm going to pull that off because it's obviously going to want to fall off. Uh, let's see, can it do a 360? Yes, it can before this guy gets in the way. But for the most part, you don't want to do a full 360, but I think you guys get the idea. Uh, same here as with the other arm. The arm can go out that far because of this little guy. It actually moves out. Arms can go in and out, do the transformation. And you get like a little elbow tiltage to where you can actually bend it like around 90 degrees and a little bit over 90 degrees which looks very nice um, you get some race rotation due to transformation now if you if you try to do any poses it kind of looks like that there's something wrong i <laughs> wouldn't recommend it but it's your toy head display it however you want pull that back down um Arms can go out, can be pushed out that far. And then out this far before stuff gets in the way. And you got a nice little knee pivot right here, which can go over, can go well over 90 degrees. And then you have some, you don't have any ankle tiltage, however, just the, because of the way that's locked in back here. You kind of can't really move these. But other than that, like you get some, you can get some really good poses if you play around with it. So there you go. And now for comparison, we are bringing in his wave mate, Voyager Soundwave. And as you can see, these are my top two favorite 
Transformers from the Bumblebee movie, even though we know, even though we only saw like a few minutes worth of action between them, I think that's pretty much worth it. And as I said in my last video, I recommend this guy. So if you find him, pick him up. And last but not least, here we have Earthrise Optimus Prime. As you can see, it's kind of like the exact same thing, only the left one is the cartoon version, and then the right side is the live action version of the G1 Optimus that most of us come to know and love. So, there you go. Alrighty, so the only thing now, I guess, is time to do the transformation. Now, the transformation is not too terribly complex. However, it gets a little bit tricky just because there's a lot more panels that you have to line up. And the legs, they have a unique, interesting design, which I will show. So, first, what you want to do is come around here, and you want to turn it like so. Do it on both sides. Then what you want to do is you want to split these, split these open, which could be a little pain. There we go. You're going to come around to the back. You're going to open these up. And then everything is going to start to pull out like so. Come around here. What you want to do is you want to lift. Now, mind you, like, I've tried transforming this with trying to transform it from vehicle to robot. And it is a pain in the neck. Because this little thing, like right here, will literally would like to pop off. So just be in my, just keep that in mind. Like it's not a mold issue. I think it's just the way that it's designed because of all the um, pieces that are literally going to be in the way. So I figured I might as well let you guys know. If you have any questions, feel free to private. Uh, feel free to message me, and I can give you like that explanation if possible. So what you're gonna do is. You're gonna bring this little top piece around like so, and you'll see why. Because all these pieces, they like to get in the way. Oh. Let's try this way. Yep, and see what I mean? Sometimes the head will pop off, but. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure it's lined up like so. We'll put Prime's head back on. Now, mind you, sometimes this will happen, so if it falls off, then don't, don't be upset. It's just a little. Ah, there we go. And what you're going to do is you're going to lock that into spot and then you're going to you're actually going to hear it you're going to bring this down and then you're going to bring this little guy down the legs we're going to get to here in a little bit because they have an interesting transformation come around here and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift these up So as you can see, like so, like both of these, like right there where my finger is, you want them out like that. Come around here, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring Prime's head right down towards here, and then you're gonna bring, like so, or if you haven't done it already, have it like that, like so. And then what you're gonna want to do is you wanna pull these out. Sometimes these things are a bit of a pain, but once you get it, what you're going to do is you're going to bring this, and then you're going to want to have the arm like so, and then what you're going to do is you're going to line this little piece up with a peg, like that's right in here, and we'll do the same for the other side. Sorry for the shakiness, hitting the camera. <laughs> 
You're going to come around here, line it up. You can open up this little spot like right here. And this little pig like that's right there. I'm going to match that up. There we go. And then you're going to bring this little spot up. And that will just rest there. Keep it up like so. And then there's this little tab right here that's going to go in this little notch right there. Sometimes, well, before you do that, you want to pull, push these in. And there's a couple tabs that you'll see like right here. You'll mash up and if everything goes according, leave well. And sometimes that will pop off as well. So just be that in mind. There we go. Give that a little push. There we go. So this is pretty much where you should be at. And if at any time you get confused, feel free to pause the video and you can rewind it to the part where you are confused. And then it should. I try to do like the best that I can do it. So that way it makes it easier for you guys. Then right over here, you're going to do the exact same thing. Pull it up. And then you want to line everything up like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to line this little guy up. And there's this little tab like right here, which can be a pain. So what I tend to do is pull this pull this tab out and then put this in and then like see like right here it's nice and flush we're going to do the exact same thing over here we're going to pull this wheel up we're going to pull that out line it up and then uh, squeeze everything together and then you'll see like right here there it literally fills up very nicely <laughs> so what you're going to do next you come up here uh, sometimes these will get in the way so what i'll do is i'll keep them at an angle and then sometimes it will still do that however it, it takes a little bit of a uh, doing but you can basically get it to where it looks like so. So there's the front half of the truck. Now we come to the legs. Now this is like I said before, this is where it gets the most, sometimes a little more complicated because with the legs right here, you have to watch very closely. So what you're going to do here is you're going to come here and you're going to pull this tab off. You're going to do the exact same thing for like right back here. There's this little slot. There's this little piece right here that's going to tab in. I don't know if you could see that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out just a little bit and see how like it on pegs. There's this little slot like right here um, where it will actually connect to right up there. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to pull this part off. You're going to close this up, and it's going to snap. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it, like, right there. Do the exact same. Pull it right there. And you're just going to leave those out of the way for right now. Now, here's where I sit. So, what you're going to want to do is you want to straighten the leg... Like I said, before, it gets very kind of tricky. So the way I'm going to do it is you want to have it like this. And then you want to turn it around like so. And then you're going to bring it around. And there's this little tab that's like right there. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. That's going to slot right into there. Took me a few tries to get this. It's... Once you get it, it's not that bad. 
But for sometimes you have to line it up. Maybe if I do that in a little bit of an angle. There we go. So like right there, and there's this little trailer hitch. Now what I do, sometimes it's a little bit of a pain. So I just use a little thing. So I'm using one of the Energon blades. There's that little tab right there that's, that would tab into there for when you transfer it to a robot mode. You're going to do the exact same thing. You want to get it straight. And then like so, pull it around. And there's a little tab like right there. And then you're going to pull it in. So, like I said, for it's not too terribly complex. It tends to get a little bit tricky, but once you get it, it's well worth it. So what you're going to do next is you're going to tab this little spot, slot right into there. There's this little notch that's like right in there. I don't know if you could see that. Like right there, you're going to slot that in with this little tab. So you're going to do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to tab that in so you're gonna pull that up now you're gonna want to remove you're gonna move these smokestacks up or not smokestacks the uh the gas tanks i should say what's wrong with me <laughs> whoops let me pull that back up and yeah sometimes that will occur to where you where stuff's gonna fall out but give that a nice quick uh Squeeze and you're gonna realign everything back up. Okay, now we're down the home stretch. So, what you're gonna do is there's this little tab that's like right there that's gonna slot right into here, and it's just friction. So, and then you close that off. You can do the exact same thing for over here. And then you're going to pull that. Let me bring the camera down just a little bit. Or let me bring that back up like so. And then there's these little tabs like right there. That's going to slot right in. And then what there is on the back of these smokestacks, there's two tabs. That's going to go into these little slots, like right there. I don't know if you can barely see that. And then you just want to line them up. Oops, sorry. Hit my camera. Mind you that sometimes that will occur. That's my first time actually doing that. I was able to recover, so I apologize about that. And you want to squeeze everything together. And then once you're done with that, here we have Voyager class Optimus Prime in his robot, in his uh, vehicle mode. Alrighty, so um, that transformation, it was a little bit not too overly complex like I was saying earlier, but I swear the end result, it's it's basically worth it. Now, you got a nice looking vehicle mode from the the eighties. I thought I tapped it in all the way. Okay, but I mean like a nice, nice flat nose cab from the eighties, from when we saw Prime coming up to see, greet up with Bumblebee on the uh, the bridge. Now, like I said before earlier, we did not see Prime much other than in a, um, the opening scene as well as the flashback scenes that Bumblebee was having. But that does not take anything away from this figure that while a lot of people are liking the, the Bay first Optimus Prime, I'm kind of leaning towards this more. I'm not sure why though, but I mean, I mean, how can you resist a flat nosed cab in a live action film? 
now it rolls as Roland thinks should. Now we got a couple of comparisons. Uh, first, we are bringing out Earthrise Optimus Prime. Now it turns out, like my last review, it turned out it discovered that it was actually Earthrise. So, as you can see. And last but not least, here we have the Bumby Movie counterpart, Sunleaf. As you can see, Optimus in vehicle is a lot longer, but Soundwave is more beefier. And as you can see, like right here, almost as long as what Soundwave looks like. So, there you go. Alrighty, well I guess that wraps up today's video. Do I recommend this figure? Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt, he, like I said before in the video, he is 100% one of my all-time favorites of the franchise. Now, I have been having a hard time trying to find him at my local Walmart, Target. So I had to purchase it off Amazon, which it's not really too bad, but finding it in the stores makes it much more worth it. But other than that, I have no complaints about this guy. Like he, the transformation, it's worth it. The amount of engineering that they put into this figure it makes the figure that much more enjoyable after you put it in either to robot or vehicle. It's your personal preference if you want to display him in robot or vehicle. For me, I'm going to be displaying him in robot mode just because his, I just think it looks more awesome. Now, do I think that Optimus is going to be, plays a major role in Rise of the Beast? Absolutely. As to what? I'm not 100% sure yet, but we are about a little over two months away, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing Optimus Prime more in this movie. This will be the first time that we get to actually see Optimus Prime in the movie that was from the G1 side in the live action film, whereas in Bumby we only saw like a few minutes of him. But beyond that, guys... That's about it. So I want you, I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. And this is the Bronco Knight. I'll talk to you guys later.